friends, we started this, uh, our channel, like my colleague Sanjay Janaji said that he has got a lot of expression almost last 30 years, he's into media and he has seen, visited every nook and corner of the state and expressing his um, uh, feelings, what we can do as a media platform, what are the issues, and we have taken up many programs connected to the common man of the society and uh, one of them is uh, tourism like that we have taken up agriculture education women empowerment and many other programs so why this program tourism ma'am with this channel started immediately after pandemic during the pandemic we was just running process things got so just uh, close our eyes and think for that uh, kind of death uh, hospital tension anxiety everything was there so our process of forming this new channel was on and sanjay ji with a skeleton of team was trying to establish this organization with my colleagues so when we started a project like um, diksha also said in the beginning this tourism is such a sector, I mean, it is evolving every day like any other sector, whether it is experiential tourism, agri-tourism, responsible tourism, and many other things. So we thought that uh, this is the first thing we can take, starting from a small vendor, flower vendor, at the temple shop near the corner of the street, to auto rickshaw wala, to taxi operators, to big line airlines operators, everything was standstill. So a lot of, I mean, anxiety, tension, and um, feeling of negativeness was there. So during 2021, we started our first project, is Chalo Dekhe Apna Des, because Honorable Prime Minister just given the idea of let's start moving. People have started moving by road to different nearby points and other things. So we took this and organized the first conference in 2021. And after seeing almost participation from 12 states the first year and getting response and sharing their experience how post pandemic the tourism best tourism practices the new things we can do we got i mean inspiration people encouraged us it was appreciated by one and all to take this program and make it as an annual event the next year i mean that is last year we have tourism i'm mean, a topic with the theme rural tourism and it's very diversified segment people from across from every nook and corner villages also participated there from odisha and outside odisha and this we made it as an annual event here we are today with the season three with our topic like I said unlocking the potential of tourism in india thank you diksha you made my i mean job very simple you have introduced that this is a very growing and evolving sector i said so everything, starting whether it is new terms and things are coming about our experiential tour, whether it is education tour, people from small places like Odisha, they don't know, they have a dream of going to IITs, IIMs and other things. Taking them to an experience, educational tour to campus, it makes them, builds confidence within them. Agri-tourism, I mean people, some of my friends in Odisha have started projects People from big towns, cities, they are coming and staying in five, seven days, ten days in rural villages using bullock cart, spending time with the um, pond side thing, moving with the bird watching and other thing. So this, uh, Sanjayji said that it is a very easy, it is not easy, though I will not agree with me, it is not easy. I am involved with the tourism sector directly, indirectly for my clients like Uttarakhand Tourism, UP tourism and uh, Government of India tourism, it is very difficult. But yes, one individual or a group of individuals in the near and dear, I mean places in their own locality, they can start earning something and it is a sustainable thing. Given a proper support system, direction and hand-holding with a proper policy there laid down, we can do and more. Recently, few months before, two months before, I think Honorable Prime Minister appealed our big wedding spenders to make India as their wedding destination. Why go to Italy, Europe and other places, spend in the beaches and all? So come and spend your money. Even Indians are going abroad to spend the money. And it's big money, big fat money being spent. So if that money can come here in all, I mean, recently many people are coming from Delhi 
to have the marriage ceremony happening in Bhuvaneswar, Puri and Gopalpur on sea. So I said, why? So there's a people, we have visited Goa and other places, we think that we thought that this is a new place and a happening place, so they are coming here, things are changing. So Honorable Prime Minister, the opportune movement has appealed people to, only Indians if start spending their money in India and create new destinations, whether from skill development and capacity building or giving livelihood to people, many people, it can change the total scenario overall. Similarly, two days before, like this I said, Honorable Prime Minister has appealed NRIs to come and appealed them to Chalo di India. Vapas ao, kuch milke karenge. So there cannot be who else can be. I mean, he is from every activity, whether it is tourism or not tourism, it helps tourism in a way, whether it is G20 movement happening across the country in every state, every district, people from more than 80 countries coming and spending and moving in the country, the big exposure. So he's trying his best to put brand Bharat, that is India, in front of people, instilling a pride feeling amongst fellow Indians in India and abroad. And um, who can be a better brand ambassador than Honorable PM who is trying his level best. So we are here, starting from young budding students. You can do a job. You can create entrepreneurs, you can become an entrepreneur and create employment opportunities also. Here are many entrepreneurs and big time and um, my friend, Professor, I mean, I have worked with him, uh, Dr. Tapan Panda. Is, I mean, from uh, doing his marketing, brand building and everything from IIM and other places, he's here. So he's also hand-holding many incubation centers and guiding them. So together, if we can do a small bit, can Argus become a catalyst role in giving a boost to the total concept. So that's why we are here. Thank you throughout the day. I think we'll be having better, good, fruitful discussions and we'll take something, have something to take away in the evening and make this conclave a success. Thank you. Jodi Aponoko, a mobility of Holagila, the Bama channel could like, share, or subscribe Karipaku Jama Bibulon tonight.